we want to find the equation of a plane that contains the line given by the parametric equations and is also orthogonal to the plane 4x minus 2y minus 3z equals negative 4. Let's begin by looking at this graphically. Our goal is to find the equation of this yellow plane that is perpendicular to this green plane or blue plane and also contains this red line. To do this, we'll have to find a normal vector to the yellow plane as well as a point in the yellow plane. If we can do that, we can write the equation of the plane in point normal form, then write the equation in standard form. So our first goal is going to be to find two vectors in the yellow plane. The first vector we can use would be the direction vector of the line, pictured here in purple. And then if we use a normal vector to the green plane, this vector here, this would be our second vector in the yellow plane. If we find the cross product of these two vectors, this would give us this longer yellow vector, which is normal to the yellow plane. So we can use the component form of this yellow normal vector and any point on this line to find the equation of the yellow plane. So let's go ahead and find this equation. We'll first find a point that's in our plane. And because this line is in the plane, notice when t is zero, we would have the point one comma negative one comma three. We'll use this as the point in the plane. Notice the direction vector of the line would have components three comma one comma eight. And because this line is in our plane, we can use that vector as a vector in the plane. So we'll call it vector V, which would have components three, one, and eight. And now to find a second vector in our plane, because our plane is orthogonal to this plane here and normal to this plane, would be a vector in our plane. So we'll call this vector w as a second vector in our plane, which would be a normal vector to this plane. And we know the coefficients of x, y, and z give us a, b, and c, the components of a normal vector to the given plane. So the normal vector to this plane, which would be a vector in our plane, would have an x component of four, a y component of negative two, and a z component of negative three. So now the normal vector to our plane can be found by determining the cross product of vector v and vector w. Let's do this on the next slide. We'll set this up as a three by three determinant where the first row is i, j, and k. The second row will be three, one, eight. The third row will be four, negative two, negative three. The elements in this first two by two determinant are determined by eliminating the row and column of vector i. So we have one, eight, negative two, negative three. Next we eliminate the row and column of vector j. So we have three, eight, four, negative three. And finally, eliminate the row and column of vector k which gives us three, one, four, negative two. So our normal vector, vector n, will be equal to, here we'll have negative three minus negative 16, that's positive 13 i. Here we'll have minus, this would be negative nine minus 32, it's negative 41. This becomes plus 41 j. And then here we have plus negative six minus four times k, that's minus 10 k. So in component form, we would have 13 comma 41 comma negative 10. We also know that our plane contains the point one comma negative one comma three. This is all we need to find the equation of our plane. Using the point normal form of a plane, we now know we can let a equal 13, b equal 41, and c equal negative 10. And x sub one equal one, y sub one equal negative one, and c sub one equal three. So this would give us the equation a, which is 13 times the quantity x minus one, and then plus 41 times the quantity y minus negative one, which is y plus one, 
and then minus 10 times the quantity z minus 3 equals 0. So this is an equation of our plane, but let's write this in standard form. So we have 13x minus 13 plus 41y plus 41 minus 10z plus 30 equals 0. So we have 13x plus 41y minus 10z, and then combining the constants, we have negative 13 plus 41 plus 30, which is equal to 58. So we have plus 58 equals 0. Moving the constant to the right, we would subtract 58 on both sides. So we have 13x plus 41y minus 10z equals negative 58. This would be the equation of the plane that contains the given line and is orthogonal to the given plane, which once again is this yellow plane here. Notice how it's orthogonal to the plane and contains the red line. I hope you found this helpful.